What's good, people? Bad Association here. It's been a while. A long while. I haven't been on here since uh, December when I did that video about the Witch of Endor. I was in the tub. Obviously, uh, it's been a while. I see my hair is growing a little bit. Uh, let me kind of update you on uh, what I've been about and what I've been doing these past uh, eight months. Hang on, let me get this right. Um, I've honestly been too busy to do videos. It's not that I've given up on the cause or that I've changed my viewpoints. I still believe the Watchtower to be a destructive, mind-controlling cult. Um, a sect that destroys families, puts uh, young children in danger, disrespects and discredits women, and you know a lot more horrid, horrid things. Um, but as I said, I've been really busy. Um, a lot of things have happened in my life. Um, unfortunately, my father passed um, this January, and. Um, Actually, that was the last time I cut my hair for his funeral, and I've just kind of been letting it grow since then. It's not like it's a real deep uh, meaning or anything like that. It's just kind of what I did and a new direction I wanted to go into, so that's what it is now. I dig it. My wife digs it, and that's the most important thing. Um, I've kind of decided I'm just going to live life the way that I see that I should live it because being that I don't believe in God and that I don't believe in the Bible or any of these holy books or deities and things like that there's no one really judging me I don't have that uh, stigma of um, only God can judge me because the only person that can really judge you is yourself at the end of the day you look at your actions you look at what you did and you, you, you decide whether it was for better or for worse. I myself personally believe that I want to try and do at least one good deed a day. I believe in like the ripple effect, sort of like, you know, the, the uh, what is it, the butterfly effect. You know, one small change can have just dramatic, uh, have, have a dramatic outcome in the end. So, you know, just little things stopping to help someone whose you know car is broken down or helping someone look for something just any little thing a good deed that I feel is a good deed is something that I'll do every day and I think it's something a lot of people should try and do you never know how you can affect that person's day how it'll change them um, uh, what else uh, me and my wife are trying to conceive at the moment I believe it's time for me to bring a child into the world and um, I'm, I'm excited about it. We've had some difficulties. I uh, found out there were a couple of medical problems that uh, we weren't aware of, caused some stress. But um, there are ways around it. And, you know, all is good. I can't blame it on anybody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't blame it on anybody. It's just sometimes the hand that you dealt and just got to play it right. You know what I mean? Um, I don't really have anything really profound or insightful or groundbreaking or shattering at the moment to speak about. I just felt I haven't made a video in a, in a while. I just wanted to let people know that, you know, I'm still for the cause. And I still, I'm, I'm happy that um, I'm seeing a lot of, I've been seeing a lot of new uh, additions to the, uh, I guess you still call it the vast apostate army or whatever you want to call it. Just people who are, you know, realizing what the religion is and that they want to get out of it. They want to get other people out of it. And they also, above all, how I feel, you just want to prevent. A lot of witnesses who are in it are so ingrained and so controlled that regardless of what rationale you may bring to them, any plot holes, you know, in the Watchtower, the Awake, or anything like that, they're just not going to see it. 
And sometimes it may seem like a lost cause. It's just a little more difficult. So I feel the best route is prevention. You know, the the organization is losing people all the time. They're hemorrhaging people. You know what I mean? And uh, so the best thing that we can do is just try and stop people from getting into it. Basically, I haven't seen any witnesses since I moved down here, except for one couple that came by twice. Actually, was it twice? It may have been three times. And they were actually sent by my wife's uh, parents to check up on us and stuff like that. I think it was around the memorial time and things like that. And um, I was so upset because... I've been waiting for a chance to speak with witnesses to tell them my viewpoints and things that I've learned and maybe open their eyes a little bit. And the one time they show up is when I just left to go to work. Like, I literally left and, like, 30 seconds later, my wife calls me and tells me, why are there Jehovah's Witnesses at my door? And it was just crazy. So, you know, they left some stuff about the memorial and all that shit. But um. They tried to come back and check up on us, but I don't think we was here. I think they left the watchtower on the door or some shit like that. But uh, I think it's funny that I haven't seen any witnesses because when I lived in Boston, um, man, I'm telling you, a weekend couldn't go by without someone knocking on the door. I figured it would be even more uh, aggressive here in the South, technically the Bible Belt. and uh, But it hasn't been, so... Hey, you know, no harm, no foul. They ain't bothering me. I ain't bothering them. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> this thing that I have on my neck right here has caused some controversy. Do y'all see what I got right here? Let me show y'all that. Let me get you a nice picture. It's not the eye of providence. Why? Because only that part is the eye of providence. This is an unfinished pyramid. This is the symbol that you see on your dollar bill every day. People say it has Masonic connections, Illuminati connections, odd fellow, skull and bones, whatever you want to call it. Truth is that that eye has been around way before they even thought of. I'm talking like Egyptian days. You know what I mean? I wear it. Because I like it. I like the way it looks. I think it's cool. It doesn't mean I'm part of any cult. It doesn't mean I'm satanic. It doesn't mean I'm Illuminati. It means I like the jewelry. And seeing that I don't believe in God or Satan, it holds no power over me. But what it does do is it's a conversation starter. People ask me, why am I wearing that? Do I know what it's connected to? And then we go into all types of conversations. And I find that's a lot easier than waiting for someone to bring up something about God or religion or cults or anything like that. It just it kind of speaks for itself. Either someone will look at it and shy away, or they'll ask me about it. And the ones that ask me about it are the ones that interest me because it means that they're looking for some sort of truth, they're looking for some sort of answer, they're looking for some sort of explanation. And I think we all kind of are in some way. So, uh, I entertain that. I have no problem entertaining that. Um, as I said, it's not that I have anything really profound to say in this video, just wanted to make one because I haven't made one in a while. And, um, I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still doing it without the witnesses. I'm still doing it without God. The only person I got is my wife. That's all I really need. You know what I mean? I mean, even my best friend who I've grown up with the past 25 years, um, and I literally mean my best friend. Like, we have everything in common. We make music together. We do all this stuff. But he's a very high believer in God, and I'm not. He's still not convinced that I'm an atheist. He believes... Oh, he just needs to see something that will convince him. Maybe he's right. But the kind of thing I would need to see 
is a lot different than what he or what other believing people would need to see. For them, what they need to, well, an example would be they want to pray, say, God, I, I really need a job. I have no money. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just, please, God, give me a job. And then the next thing they know, they get a call back from some place that they apply to, and they say that they have the position. And they say, God has answered my prayers. And to them, that's an answer. To me, that's just um, you know, getting back what you put out. You're not going to have someone call you out the blue for a job unless you're applying for jobs or unless you're letting people know that you're looking for one. There's always a catalyst. And um, there's always a cause and an effect. And uh, so like that wouldn't be an example of God answering my prayers or showing that he's real to me or anything like that. Uh, so, I mean, he says, I need to see something. Maybe I do need to see something, but something like that is not going to do it. Um, I would probably need to see, uh, God materialize in front of me and say, Hey, this is me, your father. I made you, I made everybody else. I made everything. Say something. You know what I mean? I mean, that may seem kind of blatant or whatever, but. It's just how I feel. But I don't think it'll ever happen. I'm pretty convinced it'll never happen. I'm more convinced that I'll see an alien before I see God. And, um... I mean, that's basically it. So, uh... Your man... Bad Association, a.k.a. Badass. I'm still here. I'm still in the building. Still fighting a good fight. And, uh, all those on the right side... Thumbs up. All those on the wrong side, finger up. <laughs> That's just me, man. You know, cool dude. And uh, can't really take life and everything too serious. Just enjoy it to the best of your ability. Because, uh, I mean, there's only one life to live that we know of. You know what I mean? You may think there's an afterlife. You may believe in reincarnation. You may believe in lots of other things. But the one thing that we do know for sure is we have this life here. A lot of people say life is short, but, uh, I mean, in reality, it's the longest thing that you do. So you kind of want to make it worthwhile. And uh, the only thing I know that I'm going to leave behind is going to be a child. And I want to teach them um, to basically just be a good person, you know. And uh, to me, as I said, being a good person, you know, you try and do one good deed a day. If you want to do more than that a day, then go ahead and knock yourself out. But at least one good deed a day makes you feel good inside. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, so yeah, it's your man. Bad Association. Shout out to the rest of the Bass State Army. CS, I'm glad that you're uh, making videos again, man. Missed you. Gotta holler at me, dude. I'm down here in your town. You know what I mean? Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, all that. I'm holding it down, man. You got to come down and visit, say what's up. And um, people, leave me comments. Leave me inbox messages and shit like that. I just had someone add me on Facebook two days ago telling me that they saw my videos. And, um, you know, they like them and they're informative, things like that. So it shows that even though I haven't done something in eight months, apparently it's still reaching people and it's still helping people. And... That's a great feeling. Badass. Out.